The Wisdom of Life book commentary is authored by Arthur Schopenhauer. Let's look at Schopenhauer's take on will and deliberation. The pursuit of happiness has long been a central focus of human existence, prompting philosophers throughout history to explore the nature of well-being and the factors that contribute to it. Among these philosophical inquiries, Aristotle's classification of life's blessings into three categories, external goods, goods of the soul, and goods of the body, stands out as a foundational framework. However, upon closer examination, it becomes apparent that these blessings can be more accurately categorized into a triad of personality, property, and position. Personality encompasses a broad spectrum of attributes, ranging from inherent traits such as health, intelligence, and temperament to cultivated virtues and intellectual pursuits. Health, in particular, plays a pivotal role in shaping one's experience of happiness, serving as a foundation for physical vitality and mental well-being. Aristotle's assertion that life is movement underscores the importance of maintaining an active and healthy lifestyle to sustain overall happiness. Furthermore, intellectual engagement and personal growth contribute significantly to inner wealth and fulfillment. The pursuit of knowledge, creative expression, and philosophical inquiry not only enriches the individual's understanding of the world but also fosters a sense of purpose and meaning in life. As Schopenhauer eloquently expressed, an intellectual man in complete solitude has excellent entertainment in his own thoughts and fancies, while no amount or diversity of social pleasure can ward off boredom from the dullard. Property, the second aspect of life's blessings, pertains to material wealth and possessions. While essential for meeting basic needs such as food, shelter, and clothing, material wealth alone is insufficient to guarantee lasting happiness. Epicurus' classification of human needs into three categories, natural and necessary, natural but unnecessary, and neither natural nor necessary, highlights the nuanced relationship between material abundance and well-being. Individuals' perceptions of wealth are influenced by various factors, including societal norms, personal values, and cultural backgrounds. While material possessions may provide temporary satisfaction, True fulfillment arises from intrinsic sources such as personal growth, meaningful relationships, and a sense of purpose. Moreover, the pursuit of material wealth can often lead to excess, greed, and dissatisfaction, detracting from the pursuit of genuine happiness. Position, the third and final aspect of life's blessings, encompasses social status, reputation, and external validation. Excessive preoccupation with social recognition driven by vanity and pride, can detract from inner contentment and authentic happiness. True fulfillment lies in cultivating virtues, fostering genuine connections, and aligning one's actions with ethical principles, rather than seeking validation from others. In summary, the pursuit of happiness requires a holistic approach that prioritizes self-awareness, personal growth, and meaningful engagement with the world. By nurturing the facets of personality, Maintaining a balanced perspective on material wealth and cultivating genuine relationships, individuals can embark on a journey towards lasting contentment and well-being.